Hello, my name is Agathis and I'm online and welcome back to the game of Hand of Fate. This is a full playthrough of the game, including the wild cards and all the DLC expansions. In the last episode, we defeated the Queen of Dust. Let's find out what's in store for us on our next adventure. Back so soon? I knew you would not falter. Do you have what it takes to defeat the rats? The rats? Endless mode is still locked for us, so we will be taking on story mode as before. So there's the Jack of Dust, which we've previously defeated, the Jack of Skulls, the Queen of Dust. We then won the Goblet, and now we're on to the Jack of Plague. The Jack of Plague is a rat man. When we play against him, there will be a special curse in the deck, so we lose gold every time we fail, and 10 gold every time we get a huge failure in the chance cards game. The dealer will also add extra cards into the encounter deck, Ratsmen Hunting and Angry Mob. Ah, the rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and writhe. Let's have a look at our deck. Um, yeah, let's take the recommended encounter and equipment deck and then we'll modify it. First of all, Apprentice. We are still playing with the Apprentice deck. This time, Apprentice Part 3 is going to be put in, as long, along with all the other usual cards. Now you can play the game as the gods do, without consequence or concern. Certainly. Let's have a look at our equipment. We have Desperate Measures, that's good. Frostfang and the new huge hammer. Those are all welcome weapons in the arsenal. Fortitude's breath, a normal shield, an armor of cold, that's new for us, chains of rage, two medium armors, which we probably don't need actually. Mm. I might take those out. Uh, Angel's Wing, Explorer's Helmet, Healing Cap, Helm of Reflection, Fleet Cuffs, and a few artifacts, and the Healer's Ring, which is also new to us. And we don't need the, the medium armor because, as an apprentice, we start with medium armor. Um, I might put in a shield and a mace instead. We want to get a shield as quickly as possible, and it's just good to have a better weapon as quick as possible as well. Let's take a look at our encounters. So we have quite a few new ones. Uh, once again, I'm going to take out the DLC ones for now. That's Goblin King's Halls, Indecent Survival, the White Minotaur, the White Council. And we'll do those um, together, I think. When we've got other cards we don't need to unlock. Uh, Merith, the Maiden, is still locked in there, as is Twisted Canyon. Those are both fine. Mr. Lionel, he's helpful. The helpful Priest. Um, Dead Man's Choice. Dead Man's Gorge, sorry. The Bandit Attack. A whole bunch of new cards. What's also on the top? Yes, we've got Devil's Wager. We haven't unlocked yet. Uh, Desert Storm. And f I'd like to put Field of Poppies in, I, because I've never encountered it before. It's new, and it doesn't have a token, so there's nothing to unlock, but I, I'd like to find out what that is. Um... 
We will take Smuggler's Wharf though, because that's the continuation of the Landlocked Lubber questline. We'll see if we can pick up that one. That seems okay. Let's get started. Our Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. There's the apprentice cards going in. There's the curse. The extra Ratman cards. Right, that's all the armory, all the encounters, all the monsters shuffled up. And we start with the Guardian Angel Blessing. So we get one chance to redo a cards shuffling uh, game. The Maiden. One day in a shady forest you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Merith of the Forest Folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? We can ask for longer life, supplies, gold, or, and this is new, ask to be blessed. Yeah, let's try that then. By whatever strength my people yet hold, may you be protected on your journey. We draw a blessing card. Very nice indeed. Hmm, Headsman's Blessing. Any kill made using an axe grants the player three health. Well, the axe is what we start with. Oh no, we start with a sword. Yeah, maybe this is not so much use to us. Alright. Many enchanted weapons have powerful abilities that can turn the tide of battle, but only if their wielder remembers to use them. Farewell, mortal. Thank you, Merith. On we go. Mr. Lionel. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice that he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins up at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. He cackles uncontrollably for a few moments and then sits patiently waiting for your answer. We can give him some food, we can give him gold, ask him what he needs or ignore him. Yeah, we'll give him bread from our place, that's fine. He considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. He then sits considering you for a while before slapping the table with your hand. Aha! I know what you need! Here! Mr. Lionel pulls out a large empty cloth sack and holds it open for you. Reach in and you will receive your heart's desire! I'll draw one equipment card. A shield. Fling your opponent's challenges back in their faces. Well, it was good to get that as early as possible. Uh, we already had a shield. Uh, okay then. As pleases you. Then, before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. I didn't know we already had a shield. Uh, sword, medium armor, a couple of blessings and curses, a helm, and a shield. I think this is because uh, we now have the goblet. Now that we are kind of on the second tier in the game, we start the game with a shield. Uh, that's handy to have then. Okay, I didn't know that. We'll have to use that in the future. Helpful Priest. 
It amuses me to watch them theorize. To attempt to discern the very likeness of the gods down to their toes. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a far small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. We can give him half our food or decline. Hmm. I really don't want to give away half my food just yet. If it was something like five food, okay. And if I encountered him later on when I only had ten food, fine. But ten food is a lot. Um, I don't need to unlock any token on this chap, so no thanks. No? Well, I'm sure you won't need the help of the gods where you're going. Farewell. Forest escape. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Your path forward will take you into the forest. You have discovered the exit to this area. We will take the forest path. We embark on the next leg of our adventure. Each of these cards is crafted from your memories and built from your experience. I created them, but only in the abstract. It is the importance you place on them that makes them real. Hmm. Yes, again, talking about our memories, that uh, we make these adventures ourselves. He merely makes prompts for the memories. Moving on. Travelling jeweler. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a travelling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Jewelers specialise in selling artefacts and rings. Such an exclusive market demands high prices. Well, we won't be able to afford anything here, but let's check it out. Greetings, wise traveller! I have much to offer you. Let's see what he's selling. The healer's ring. 17 gold. When the player receives healing, they gain plus one gold. That's nice. Consuming shame artifact. We've seen this before. And we haven't really used it much. Damocles, we've had this before. And the mercenary contract. Also too expensive for us. I don't think there's anything really to sell. We could sell a shield, I suppose, for three. Sure. Just in case we need the gold later. Yes, now, our sword and our medium armour are not shown here. I guess they, those are the default items. We can't sell them. Yes. How much does food go for? We could buy three food for eleven. You see, if we'd have given our food to the priest, that would have been about ten food. That would be at least thirty-three supplies. Maybe sorry, thirty-three gold or thirty-five gold, say. That's a lot for a blessing. Maybe they're worth it that much. But so far, they haven't been particularly useful for us. Let's head north. Ratmen hunting. Now you begin to trespass upon the Ratmen's hunting grounds. You stumble upon a Ratmen hunting party. Prepare to defend yourself. The dealer draws you one monster card. This is a dealer card with the dealer's ribbon on. 
specific to this adventure. Four of Plague. Let's see how this looks. So, full Ratman. Right, here's our card going down. There's the Ratman's card. Here's us. We got our bandana. Got our shield. Woomph. Sword. Woomph. Off we go. It's raining. Let's be quick before they start throwing things at us. Whack, whack, whack. Counter. Counter. Ooh. Ooh, I got hit there. It's an unblockable attack. It's red. Last one. Ah, there we go. In the tail. 109. I lost one hit point. Yeah, we can deal with that. We can deal with loss of one hit point. You recover some food from the rat carcasses. Ugh. The dealer draws you one food gain card. Three food. I'm sure you're grateful for that. Mm, yeah, maybe we'll eat that stuff last. Twisted Canyon. Our old friend. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight, lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines, perfect for climbing. Well, let's climb down and retrieve the weapon. Three successes, one failure. Choose from these options. I think that one was the failure because it was on top, so this one. Success. Uh, confirm, yes. Yeah, I was right. That was an easy shuffle. It was just one slow shuffle. Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Flip through the cards until we get a weapon. Mace. 27 damage. Holy. Better than the sword. And the sword disappears. Because that was our default weapon. We now don't have a spare weapon now. Something to remember next time. A winding trail. An ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Suddenly, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. Draw one monster card. Huh. Okay, so maybe that card has got more difficult because we are at a higher level now. Weapons bristle from the trees around you, their wielders' faces obscured by the undergrowth. Give us all your gold, or die! Uh, we can either give them all our gold, or attack the cowardly bandits for daring to threaten us. I think so. I shout a battle cry and raise my weapon, and in we go. Three of dust and three of dust. There's the two cards. Here we are. Bandana. Shield. Mace. We've got no artifacts to help us this time. It's just pure sword and shield work. Counter. Just have to take this easy. Just hit people until we see counter opportunities. Counter. Ooh, got hit there. Of course I counter that one. Whack, 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 counter. Counter. Really quick on these counters. Last one, maybe? There we go. Down. I find in these in, in these battles, I'm just clicking, clicking, clicking to to hit anything. And then as soon as I see the counter indicator, uh, I just hit that instead. You search the bodies for loot. The dealer draws you two gain cards. 
draw one equipment. Another shield. Yeah. With practice and good timing, you can reflect ranged attacks. Okay, it's no better than our other one. Gain a 15 max health. health. But it is only a momentary respite. Okay, it's not an, an item, but that's pretty useful all the same. We're now at 127 max health. That's pretty good. Stairs. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. So we have to go into the subterranean pit to hunt down the rest of the Ratmen. Uh, but I think we will cover that in our next episode. Uh, that's the end of the second level. I'm presuming this adventure has at least three, maybe even four levels. So we'll have to see how that goes. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like or to consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of the playthrough so far. Let me know if you're playing Hand of Fate 2. Uh, this game is probably uh, going to be in the, the Steam Christmas sale. Uh, it's not going to be very expensive. I think it's worth picking up. Uh, keep an eye out for it and consider adding it to your collection perhaps. I'm Agathis, I'm going offline. It has and been I will called see the you. game of eternity that we play. Yes, yes. I didn't think that meant you'd take forever to make a decision, mind. I will see you next time.